Welcome back guys to yet another Call of Duty video. I hope you're all having a good day. And today we're going to be looking at grip in Infinite Warfare and I'm going to be telling you guys if you need it. Now obviously there are some guns where you need it and some guns where you obviously don't like the MV4 assault rifle but we're still going to be looking at a few of them. A few of high recoil like the FHR and a few of low recoil like the MV4. So let's get straight into it. So first up we have the MV4. And as you can see from my footage I've taken, I've done one with grip and one without grip. And from the testing, uh, with grip, you get super pinpoint. It's a laser. It's like the ICR-1 from Black Ops 3. It's a laser gun. However, without grip, it's still a laser gun, but that, that sort of spread is just a bit wider. Think of it like the Honey Badger from um, Ghosts. It's sort of not up or down. It's, it's all recoil within the same place, but it's still recoil that could put your aim off. But in my opinion, you don't really need grip on it. I, I use it without grip perfectly fine. So if you're new to the game and you don't know what to use on this weapon, I would definitely say don't use grip on it because that's a wasted attachment. I mean, its accuracy is near 100% anyway. So next up we've got the K-Bar Assault Rifle. And this Assault Rifle is an extremely good Assault Rifle. It feels like an SMG when you're using it. It's absolutely crazy. But regarding grip, I think you do need it because as you guys can see from the testing, it has quite a bit more recoil without grip. And I use this gun a lot. Uh, and especially in gunfights, you notice that extra tiny bit of recoil and it's very, very annoying. So I'd say don't use this gun without grip. Grip is a must on this gun. Now the next weapon is the HVR submachine gun. This submachine gun is amazing. If you haven't unlocked it yet, look forward to that because it's a very good submachine gun to use. Now regarding grip on this weapon, I would say you definitely do need it. As you can see, I've tried it with grip and without grip. It looks like I'm using grip in both testings, but I'm not. I don't know why I did that, I had to double check, but uh, trust me, I'm definitely not. And as you can see without grip, the recoil is way, way, way higher than with grip. Um, so with this gun, you definitely do need grip. Uh, so if you don't know what to use on this gun, grip is definitely one attachment you're going to be wanting to go for. It will definitely help you in those gunfights, uh, and especially at long range with this submachine gun. And finally guys, we have the FHR submachine gun. Now this submachine gun is another favourite of mine. Uh, it's very good, well-rounded, well and it's like the P90. It has a lot of ammo, but it still has a lot of recoil. I mean, I used it with grip and without grip, as you can see, and the recoil is huge. Uh, the only difference I felt was that with grip, it took longer to go upwards, because it's vertical recoil, so it took a lot longer to go upwards, so you get a more steady aim where you're aiming, if that makes sense. But it was still a lot of recoil over the whole magazine uh, duration. So I don't know about this gun. I would say use grip on it. Um, use all the grip you can on it. You get uh, the featherweight common uh, variant of it because that has extra stabilization for recoil. But yeah, this gun is super, super crazy with recoil. I'd definitely recommend using grip on it if you don't know what to use on it yet. But on a whole, I would say you should use grip on a majority of the weapons unless you know their low recoil such as the MV4 if you just feel extremely confident that you know the recoil pattern of the gun but overall if you're new to the game and you don't know what to use yet definitely put grip on every weapon you're going for as it will only help you it can't make you worse so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys found it useful if there are any guns you want me to do a video on uh, in depth or just looking at telling you a class to use I'll happily do that please let me know down in the comments section below and I'll see you guys in my next video